Welcome to another edition of CastNet.net. V's Views with head coach Fred Harbinson. I'm Fraser Rogers from the brand new Gasoline Alley brought to you by Harley Davidson of Kelowna here at the SOEC debuting this month. Uh, first, let's talk about the V's though. Fred, uh, good way to end 2016. The way you started, in fact, as well. That's with the win, a nice 4-2 win over Merritt uh, last Friday night. I know we talked about the power play this year being maybe sometimes uh, a nuisance for the team, but it seems like it's rounding into form. You had a couple key power play goals in that win that helped you uh, in 2016 on that note. Yeah, no, I think uh, it, it was uh, definitely a, a sore spot with our team uh, f for the majority of the first half of the season and for whatever reason. And, you know, I thought the last couple weeks of December and, and uh, and then, you know, our final game there, uh, you know, it's it's definitely built traction and it's been, uh, you know, a key part of uh, the last few wins. What have you noticed uh, from the power play now five goals or seven goals, I should say, in your last five games as you start up January here? Well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, our attention to detail, as cliche as it is, is much better. I mean, as far as, you know, our decisions on our breakout, our finishing of our routes, and then, uh, you know, being a little more physical on our retrievals. and. And then just uh, you know making quicker decisions in the offensive zone, and you know we have the talent there to to make plays. You have to be able to one-time pucks in certain areas, and and we're able, you know, we're doing that now. A great goal by Crookshank the other night in that exact type of situation, and um, you know, and I think there's a little more competition on our team right now to to say who's going to be on the power play. So you know, the work ethic has to be there, otherwise someone else will go in and and, and hopefully get the job done. Talked about competition uh, just earlier this week. I mean. It a move to get a veteran player and Taylor Sanheim uh, was with the Calgary Hitman. His rights were with Portage out in Manitoba. Had to trade Ty Barnstool to make the move happen, but uh, a veteran player. Is this guy much like what we've seen from Duncan Campbell to bring that maturity and that experience in the lineup? I would think so. I mean, he's uh, you know doing our research, doing our due diligence on him. Like, I mean, everything about him is about, you know, his hard work and grittiness and uh, wanting to battle in tough situations and and just adding that extra, you know, edge, a little more sandpaper to our game, and you know, difficult moving a young guy, Barnstable, who you know, in junior hockey, you move guys that you think they can't maybe play or whatever, and then there's other guys that, uh, you know, it's just a product of the situation. We're hosting the WCC this year. We're kind of our approach has been all along about you know, kind of almost no different than if we were hosting the Royal Bank Cup. So it's one of those things where you're you're moving a young guy for an old guy and and uh, you know hopefully the old guy comes in here and is, is a, a big piece of the puzzle do you see these moves with likes of Duncan Campbell and Taylor Sanheim similar to what we saw a couple years ago with Dakota Conroy and Connor Sharche some veteran guys to help to stabilize the group well I mean that's the plan I mean that's the goal here uh, you know the two guys you just mentioned were instrumental uh, in our uh, ability to win that championship that year and, and make it to the World Bank Cup. And, um, you know, as far as Campbell's concerned, since he's come in, he's really stabilized things here. We think, uh, you know, adding Sanheim now will we'll just create more and more depth on our forward lines. And to be honest with you, it feels a lot, you know, we haven't played a game with this lineup yet, but now 13 forwards that kind of interchange on any line. Um, we can build different types of lines, uh, one through four, and, and you know I don't think there's going to be really a, you know a, a major glaring weak spot. And, and you know a year ago, yeah, we had a great team that was won over 50 games, but you know we were a little top heavy, and uh, there was a you know a few 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 spots that could get exposed. And then when we had some injuries, it, it did. Fred Harbinson with us here, and before we wind things down, Fred, uh, you talk about the meat and potatoes of the schedule being January and February, things uh, rising when it comes to stakes. You see some good competition coming to the SOEC this week as well. Uh, a trail coming up tonight, and then on Saturday, it's Vernon who's playing very well. A couple challenging games ahead on the schedule. Yeah, well, trail, we've had <laughs> some extremely tight games with uh, a couple overtime games and whatnot, and and Vernon, I think, is one, you know, I don't think they've lost in their last seven. They've had a maybe a tie or two in there but uh and and we know the rivalry there so you know you know both games uh, you know we're both at home uh coming off the break here we had a great game and now we need to you know continue to move forward V's looking to continue their hot play in 2017 coming up tonight against trail and then saturday on vernon for fred harbinson fraser rogers from the brand new harley davidson gasoline alley here at the soec this has been V's views